So fishing is your sport. And you know you need sunglasses, sure. But what about lens color? What should you do? You should stick around, that's what. Hello and welcome on my glass, Tyler. I wanna to talk to you about lenses. Lenses for fishing. It can be tough because there are so many different environments that you can be fishing in, different light conditions. If you're under tree cover, if you're out on a boat in the middle of the ocean, there are lots of options and it is good to have an idea of what to look for for your type of fishing. There are neutral lenses, there are contrast enhancing lenses, there are low light lenses, there are mirror coatings. There are a lot of options out there. I wanna kinda demystify this a little bit, give you a little more knowledge under your belt so that you can pick the right pair for you. If at the end of this video you are ready to order, don't forget about SportRx and definitely don't forget about our See Better Guarantee. Because with that, you're never stuck with something that doesn't work for you as well as I might be explaining things. Maybe you just find it doesn't work out for you. Well, you have as long as 45 days with them to figure that out, even if you get them in prescription and we'll take care of you no matter what that means. Also, if you want help getting it right the first time, you can also reach out to our opticians. They're very friendly and they would love to help you. All right, let's talk lenses. For starters, we'll talk about neutral lens options. So this is going to be something that isn't going to give you much contrast enhancement or color contrast boost, but it is going to protect your eyes and give you a really good dense tint. And gray is the name of the game when we're talking neutral. You can have a gray base lens color and that is going to be the densest. It's going to absorb the most light. This is a great lens for offshore fishing. When you don't have any real protection outside of maybe a hat, you wanna protect your eyes as well as you can by getting the darkest lens possible. And gray is going to be the way to go. It's going to help to block light without changing your color perception. So that's why we call it neutral because it gives you neutral color perception. Really good for those super bright and sunny days. And it is less contrast, but more true to world color. Hey, if you're liking this content, but maybe you have additional questions about fishing sunglasses, or perhaps you have prescription needs, we'll be sure to reach out to one of our very friendly Sport RX Sport Opticians. They are eagerly awaiting your call. And for even more fishing frame reviews, unboxings, prescription fishing content, you can check out our videos and our blogs. We'll put a link in the description below. Now we're talking contrast enhancement. So with that, you're going to be looking at coppers or roses or even rose coppers. There are browns, there's also bronze. There, there are a lot of different names for essentially what is a brown base tint and the browns and the comp coppers and the bronzes are going to be a little denser. So they're going to help to improve contrast enhancement. However, they are going to still block a fair amount of light. These are good lens colors for inshore fishing. If you're doing flats fishing, spotting and tracking fish is going to be so much easier with that contrast enhancement because it's gonna heighten the differences in color between the fish and the, the riverbed or the, the seabed, wherever it is that you're fishing. Really good for, like I mentioned, bright, but also good for cloudy conditions. That contrast enhancement does a really interesting thing where it makes things seem brighter even if it's blocking the same amount of light transmission, because colors are more vivid, it is more usable even in cloudier conditions. Now let's talk low light. This is more of a niche lens tint, I think. It is not going to be as common, and it's definitely not as commonly requested for people looking for a good fishing lens, but they are out there. There are definitely people looking for a lens that lets a lot of light through, but still cuts glare. So polarized, but light transmission is much higher. And so now we're talking yellows, we're talking ambers, uh, really good polarized low light options that are out there that are very unique are the Sunrise Silver, actually I have that right here that Costa makes. The Sunrise Silver Mirror has a light transmission of about 30%, really nice and bright, allows a lot of light through. So really good for, let's say, fly fishing when you have a lot of tree cover over you. And it's still gonna be 100% polarized, so really good at cutting the glare. Another really good option is Maui Jim. It's not this lens here, but they have an HT lens that stands for high transmission. Another amazing lens. 
Canaan is an interesting one as well. If you haven't heard of Canaan and you're looking for a really good low light option, definitely check them out because they have copper and yellow lenses with a silver mirror that will maximize light transmission. They even have a copper 50, which means 50% 50 of light is making it through outrageous. And it is also totally polarized. And so if you really do want the most light coming through possible, but still fully polarized, you should check out Canaan. Now we've talked all about lens color, or I could otherwise say base tint. Now we need to talk about mirrors because I've mentioned mirrors here and there throughout this, but the focus has been the base tint because that's what's going to really affect your color perception when you're looking through the lens. The mirror coating is a coating applied to the front side of the lens that helps to create more glare and reflections off of the surface of the lens. That means less light's making it through the lens, because more light is being lost to reflections off the lens. So it gives you essentially a darker lens. It also helps with what I call ambient glare, light coming in at harsher angles, will bounce off more readily, and that tends to be less usable light anyway. So that's another benefit. The colors that you'll be looking at most likely, are you're gonna find a blue, mirror that's going to be good for offshore or deep water fishing. It's going to give you really good protection on those really clear, bright days. An example of that would be Oakley's Prism Deep Water Polarized. That's a really cool lens. Also, of course, Costa's, their blue mirror is very, very popular for all of those types of fishing as well. The green mirror coating is one that you're going to find more commonly for inshore or bed sight fishing. So like the, the types of fishing where being able to spot and track the fish is important. You're going to find that that green is very popular and it's going to help actually impart a little bit more color to the base color with that green that will help to boost contrast even more. So that wraps it up for my little spiel on getting the right lenses for your type of fishing. I didn't get too exhaustive, but I hope that you learned something and that you are now more equipped for getting the perfect pair for yourself. Are you ready to shop any of the frames featured in this video? We'll check a link at the end. And if you are ready to order, do not forget about that Seabetter guarantee. I think it gives you a ton of peace of mind. And if peace of mind is your thing, don't forget about us opticians because we can help you get it right the first time. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like because that helps us out. You can find relevant videos over here. And also we have great content on our social media outlets. I think you should check it out. I think you'll like it. Otherwise I wouldn't recommend it.